The atmosphere, crucial for life on Earth. It makes our planet habitable. However, air pollution has become a serious problem. Human activities are altering our atmosphere at an unprecedented scale. This has an impact on air quality and is affecting people's health all around the globe. Studies even show that in the urbanized regions of Europe, 90% of the population is exposed to harmful levels of air pollution. According to uh, the World Health Organization, air adverse air quality is responsible of 7 million premature deaths on a global scale. In Europe, uh, the European Environment Agency is estimated to 400 to 500,000 uh, premature deaths occurring. So this is a very, uh, real, uh, very real problem. Air quality affects our health in many ways, from causing heart and respiratory disease to exacerbating asthma and even impacting cognitive abilities. Recent studies have also shown that even relatively low levels of air pollution can affect people's health. In order to better understand this problem and find solutions, scientists need reliable data on where and how the air is being polluted and how it spreads. This can be done locally by taking in situ measurements. But with satellite data, this can be achieved at a larger scale across regions and countries, thus tracking pollution as it's spread by the wind. Over the last two decades, the European Space Agency launched a number of satellites that observe our atmosphere and measure air pollutants. ESA is involved in air quality measurements by providing uh, space measurements, satellites that have the capability to measure air pollution trace gases. We started on this uh, during 95 by putting GOME in space. This instrument this instrumentation, this capability has then been improved step by step by follow-on instruments like Skiermaki, GOME2 or OMI. And now with the Copernicus mission Sentinel-5 precursor, we have global coverage within one day. And this allows for the first time to use these space-based measurements to be implemented in operational services for air quality monitoring, but also for forecasting. The Copernicus program with its Sentinel satellites has bridged the gap between research and operational services. Using both satellite and in situ measurements, the Copernicus Atmosphere Monitoring Services provides information about air composition and quality across the globe. At the European level, it's almost like a weather forecast. This information is picked up by media and smartphone applications, warning the public on poor air quality in their region. With Copernicus Sentinel-5P launched in 2017, which carries a novel instrument called Tropomi, a big step was taken to observe sources of air pollution. Now pollution hotspots are clearly visible. This increased spatial resolution comes from Sentinel-5P spectrometer, the Tropomi instrument. The Tropomi instrument is really a big step forward in what we, uh, what we can do. Uh, and uh, that's for, for different reasons. I think maybe the most striking thing when you look at the data is the very good spatial resolution. So it, it can measure uh, with a ground resolution of about three and a half by seven kilometers, which is more than a factor of 10 better than what we can, that, that previous instruments had. With its Tropomi instrument, Copernicus Sentinel-5P is showing how important it is by delivering operational data on air quality every day. Within the Copernicus program, ESA and the EU are already preparing new missions to monitor our atmosphere. For example, one of the potential future Sentinel missions has been proposed to monitor emissions of carbon dioxide. Our atmosphere is precious, but polluting emissions are both responsible for poor air quality as well as adding to the greenhouse effect driving climate change. By monitoring emissions and understanding how they spread, we might find solutions to keep our planet breathable and sustainable.